but girls are in fact very very cute hi it's shay today i'm going to give you guys some tips on how to grow your natural nails um these are things that i do things that um helped me i don't know about you guys like i loved acrylic nails and everything when i used to get them but there's just something about like my own nails being long that's just a little more fulfilling so i need to do it now because i'm like i'm ready to cut them off so <laughs> let's 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 just do it let's just get started so first i want to show you guys my nails disclaimer they're a little messed up right now Ugh, but today's my nail routine routine day so uh, nail care routine day and i'm gonna film that right after this video here is what my nails look like so super chipped and cracked with the um nail polish but yeah they're pretty long um this middle finger broke a while ago and i've been trying to grow it out to match the rest of them but yeah that's what my nails look like So I have a notebook right here with some notes just to help me like stay on track and like not miss anything that I want to talk to you guys about. So first thing that I'm going to mention, um, and this is genuinely just kind of like common sense. And I know a lot of you guys might be like, well, duh, but I just want to like, I don't know, just remind you guys, I promise I'm not trying to be a smart aleck. But first thing, stop going to nail salons, stop getting acrylic nails, stop getting gel nails, stop getting dip powder nails just overall stop going to the salons um because they don't prioritize your natural nail health so they use a lot of like chemicals that are bad for your nails um and they roughen your nail beds all the time and just make your nails super weak and brittle um so that's like literally the first thing to growing out your own nails if you just absolutely love gel and dip and stuff learn how to do it yourself because then you will at least like take your natural nails into more consideration rather than going to a nail tech my second tip is to stop biting your nails stop picking at your cuticles stop peeling your nails if they chip or if they crack or if they break just fingers out of your mouth and stop digging at them you probably don't realize how much damage that does like especially just like picking at your cuticles um i can't give you like any like scientific factual information as to why you should stop doing it but i would just say like it just plays into the overall health of your nails and like your fingers um so yeah tip number three um stop using your nails to do things Okay, stop using your nails to open up pop bottles, stop using your nails to like pick at little things or pull something out of something else, like stop. Opening cans, use the end of like a spoon or a fork, utilize other things to work around, you know, utilizing your nails because of course that's gonna chip them or break them or just make them brittle or make like little microchips, we don't want that. I am genuinely that friend though, like when I need to, like if I'm out with some friends and we're drinking something that has, you know, something that's canned and I'm like, hey, can you open this for me? I don't want to break a nail. Like I'm literally that girl and that's fine. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls care for their nails. <laughs> Number, what is this? Number four, right? Yeah, four utilize strengthening serums and polishes and nail cuticle or wow cuticle oils etc okay try i know it might be a little easier said than done but try to steer away from like the really cheap stuff um for me personally i okay i'm not gonna spend like a super pretty penny on like my nails and like nail care and stuff but I would treat my nails the same way that I treat my hair when I'm like taking care of my hair and like trying to grow it, you know? Um, so I use coconut oil for my cuticles. Um, 
and like I utilize like Sally Hansen's brand and I love it and it's always worked really well for me so yeah utilize those strengthening serums and polishes and everything follow the directions a lot of them say apply um, once every other day you know if you don't have like a nail polish over it so like a color um, but yeah like it does more good in the long run I will say like you're gonna still break and chip and crack your nails and whatnot like our nails it's keratin not titanium you know um but like ultimately just having your nails strong and just like um moisturized will help like when you do when there are instances where you like hit your nail against something or hit your hand against something and your nail bends a little bit like i can't tell you how many times my nails bend the opposite way and thankfully they don't like break off but sometimes i will get like little tiny chips and stuff but um that's where the importance of having your nails be like healthy and strong comes into play so utilize these serums and those polishes girls i don't know how many times i've said that but yeah okay not just girls okay to anybody who wants to grow out their natural nails next next tip number five the going back into like your nails like chipping and cracking and everything still like figure out a like a nail pair nail repair method that you like and that works for you so like for instance whenever I break a nail or I crack a nail I will literally glue that baby back on like I'll put some glue put a um and I'll show you guys this in my nail care routine because I do have a few cracks and chips and stuff but um there's a tea bag method there's the silk method a lot of people use dip powder like to repair their nails and you know grow out cracks and stuff um so figure out which one is best for you because I know a lot of the time like if you break a nail after you've had it's been months of you growing it out it kind of feels a little discouraging like de de defeating and it's you're so quick to just clip them off or take it off you know no figure out a nail repair method that you like that works for you and stick to it okay okay next tip number six slow down take your time when you are doing things okay like for me pers i know that might be a little easier said than done especially if you're going to work and stuff because like honestly if you just sit there and you don't do anything all day or if you work from home the chances of you like breaking your nails and like hitting your nails against stuff is very low right but for me personally i'm a dental assistant a licensed dental assistant and of course i know a lot of you might know what that entails but like i'm cleaning and i'm using instruments and i'm you know my hands are like being put to use for a good chunk of the day and my nails are definitely in a little bit of danger but that's where just taking your time moving at a steady i almost said slow don't be like super slow i can't be slow at least in my job but like moving at a steady and efficient pace but like also just being like extra cautious of like what you're doing with your hands and how you're doing stuff is gonna help with your nail health in the long run. I like to make sure, like I'm careful, like I'm not just like slamming my hands into things. I'm not just going at things like blindsided. Like I don't disregard my nails. What is this one? I keep on losing like my, my place. Seven. Ditch those little plastic, um, super cheap, nail files that you can get in like the little dollar section in Target or like the dollar store ditch those those are creating like micro micro cracks and stuff in your nails and invest in a glass file if you are able to do so a tempered glass file if you're able to do so and I will show you like I'm literally gonna show you all of my products that I use when I do my nail care routine so stay tuned and I'm literally gonna look the same because like I said I'm filming it like right after this video um but those glass tempered glass nail files first of all they're sustainable and eco-friendly because they literally last forever like as as long as you don't drop it and break it that it literally lasts so long and i love that and they're really really pretty too like you want to you know like being a girly that takes care of her nails already looks bougie yeah a glass nail file is the cherry on top like Oh, they're so pretty so I'll show you mine in my next video 
aside from them being sustainable, they're healthier for your nails. And don't use nail clippers. I can't tell you the last time that I've used nail clippers on my fingernails. Like, unless I'm like, I'm fed up, I'll cut them and then I'll file them down. But when I'm growing my nails out, no, I don't. I don't use nail nail clippers. Nail glass tempered nail tempered glass nail files only. <laughs> so last tip is occasionally taking biotin supplements. I sometimes, not very often, I can't tell you the last time that I took a biotin supplement, but the only time that I'll really do it is when I feel like my nails are growing like super slow and I want them to grow, grow faster or something like that, you know, where I'm just being impatient. That's the only time that I'll like pop one or two a week. Um, but you do have to be careful because it, in like high amounts, it can cause like acne and stuff. And I know we don't like acne, nobody likes acne. So that's like the only um, concern that I would, uh, that I know of when it comes to taking biotin supplements. But of course, talk to your doctor before you do anything. I'm not, obviously not a doctor. <laughs> so yeah, but that's just one thing. And I, it's at the bottom of the list because I'm just like, it's really not that important to me. Ultimately, the thing that's gonna help your nails grow, hopefully aside from your genetics, um, is finding and creating a nail care routine that you like that works for you and sticking to it, being consistent with it. After I figured out my nail care routine and products that I like to use, I haven't switched it. So like I've been growing my nails on and off for about like the last two years now, since quarantine, yeah. So I have my set routine and I'm good to go, girl. Those are basically the tips that I have for you guys. And I love nail care and I would love to incorporate this more into my YouTube channel. But like I said, like after a month two, I'm like, I'm ready to cut them off. So we'll see, I'll try, but yeah. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these tips. I hope that you're able to use them and apply them to your life. Um, I wish you the best with your nail care journeys and your nail growth. Please feel free to ask me any questions or if there's something that I said that you want to expand on or comment on, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and please stay tuned because I do have some good stuff coming up within the next few months. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!